the racing's away here. The 5,000 metre championship of Victoria. The field will merge down the home stretch. The outside lane runner, it looks like Sean Kravitz, will lead them through the inside station in the Deacon Culls. It's Jason Woolhouse running strongly through the early stages. Jeremy Roth from New South Wales is the 1500 metre finalist. The Commonwealth Games was splendid in the Adidas kit. Will cross second through the start finish line. Could be Gumby that's leading him through there in the black and white colours, running by invitation. The fellow New South Welshman, Russell Desai Chin, into third place. Hartley Woolhouse, the defending champion, leading into this upper echelon of five athletes. Hartley leading the pack of that second group from Kravitz in the Glen Huntley colours. Moving through Nathan Hartigan of Ballarat YCW Harriers. Slightly checked was Toby Rayner, they're the top ten on the track. Border track and fields, Adam Biles. Tucked in behind him, Sammy Alice of Eureka. But it's Gumby, Roth, Russell Desai, Chin are your top three on the track. Woolhouse in the blue and gold of Deacon Athletics, the reigning Victorian champion in fifth place. Nathan Hartigan just tacking onto the back of that leading group of six athletes, but they'll come down the home stretch. They'll collect 11 laps remaining in this 5,000 metre championship of Victoria. So an early split in the field. Ed Gumby from the United Kingdom leading the race through in the black and white colours. Tucked in behind him, Desai Chin. Roth back to Ethan Haywood. He was a junior representative at the World Cross Country Championships of Western Australia. He won the under-20 Australian cross country title up in Brisbane earlier this year. Jason Woolhouse, the defending champion, tucked in behind him. Nathan Hardigan of Ballarat in seventh place. So a top flight of six, one runner in no man's land, back to the two Glen Huntley runners, Sean Kravitz, Toby Rayner leading the pack, Hartley looks like he's tucked in there in the top ten in the red. They're going to come through, we'll get you the 1,000 metre split in this Victorian 5,000 metre championship, but it's the invitation athletes that are leading the way here, Gumby, Desai Chin, Roth, Ethan Haywood, Woolhouse and Hartigan, Woolhouse and Hartigan are the top placed Victorians, but Desai Chin will lead them through, 248 the split at the 1,000 metre mark. So Desai Chin will take up the pace through 1,000 metres. It's the 10,000 metre road champion of New South Wales. About out on the road racing circuit, had strong runs down at Burnie. He crossed third there behind Victorian Liam Adams who took the win. Roth the Australian Commonwealth Games representative is the 8th fastest man all time over 1500 metres. This is his big race debut over 5000 metres. He'll be looking to make a big impression. Be considering to add this event to his repertoire come the domestic season. Could face the obvious challenges of Collis Birmingham and Craig Mottram in the new year. But Desai Chin is leading the way at the moment. He will be a starter at the Zatapec 10 here at Olympic Park. It'll be the 50th anniversary of that meet with some of the greats of Australian distance running. will all be present. But Desai Chin will lead through. Nine laps remain in front of Jeremy Roth. Woolhouse tucked in third place. Back through to Ethan Haywood. Hardigan is your top five. Glenn Huntley's Toby Rayner. The lanky, very distinctive steps of Rayner there in no man's land just between... Sixth and eighth place. It's Kravitz and possibly Hartley in the red. Back to Biles, Ellis. Brady three full of the Bendigo colours. Ryan Christian in that next group as well. But the front of the field is Desai, Chin, Roth and Gumby. Three New South Wales athletes through these early stages. So they'll come through, eight laps remaining now, Desai Chin to Roth, 
Woolhouse, the defending champion, Hardigan, Andrew White from the Box Hill Club, really sided through the XDR 10 series, focusing on his marathon debut up on the Gold Coast. The top 10 finish was what resulted for White up there. Also in that race, he finished one place ahead of him in seventh. It was Nathan Hardigan. He's in the Bendigo Harriers colours, black and gold. Fourth place on the track behind Woolhouse, Roth and Desai Chin. <laughs> Ethan Haywood running very gutsy race there. He just dropped off that leading group of five, but just working his way back on. Toby Rayner will join him there in seventh and sixth place, respectively. Hartley leading the chase to the next pack with Kravitz. Both those two athletes nominated for the Zatapec 10. They'll find out if they'll be racing the main event for the national title here at Olympic Park on December 9th against the likes of Collis Birmingham and Bobby Curtis from the United States. Benson Lawrence, the City to Surf runner, will be here on the night. But coming through now, seven laps remaining. Desai Chin will lead through from Roth, Woolhouse, White, Hardigan, Rayner and Haywood have worked their way back onto this lead group. So five have turned into seven. Hartley leading the chase now in eighth place from Kravitz, Biles, Ellis, Threefall, Christian. And the Chiwell runner, Julian Spence. Uh, but going to the front now, it's the defending Victorian champion over 5,000 metres. Jason Woolhouse has taken up the pace in front of Jeremy Roth. He was forced to a sprint finish here at Olympic Park last year against Liam Adams. Adams run the Chiba Ekadon Relay just earlier this week. Not in the shape to be here to be able to back up. Of course, it's a very difficult task. He ran a 29, a 45 split for the 10K over at Chiba. But it's all about the action here at Olympic Park at the moment. Woolhouse in the lead. They've gone through 2,000 metres. Leading through from Roth and White's moved into the top three position with Desai Chin just dropping back with Hardigan. And now Rayner moved in the sixth place. Haywood has just lost touch again, but we're looking to work his way back into that top group of six athletes. Through the 4,000 metre mark, around 11 minutes 20 was the split. So a two minute 40 final kilometre is what they're going to need to pop under the 14 minute mark. Wet conditions here underfoot with Roth just starting to stretch his legs now. They'll collect two laps remaining. Woolhouse tucked in behind him. Woolhouse unleashed a blistering sprint finish last year to outstay Liam Adams. So Roth will be looking to make a move early to try and take that out of the equation. It might be just starting to surge a little now, looking strong. Rainer third place will come through the start finish line with two laps remaining. Desai Chin not out of the picture for a medal at the moment. White is the third Victorian on the track in this Victorian Championship. So New South Wales in the lead, that's Roth, the eighth fastest man all time over 1500 metres. 3.34 was the time he posted at the Berlin Istaf meet in 2009. A very quality field that he raced against there. The Kenyan Augustine Chogi took the win in 3 minutes 30 and Roth was gallant in his finish there. But he's moving in the lead and just starting to stretch Woolhouse now who's hanging dearly to the coattails of Roth. Roth in his maiden attempt at a big championship 5,000 metres. Woolhouse in second position looking to defend his Victorian title. He's still the first Victorian on the track but line honours is what's up for grabs here. And it's Roth that looks the goods at the moment. He'll come down to collect the bell. Desai Chin is starting to work back on Arena inside of 500 metres remaining for them. But Roth coming down to the start finish line will collect the bell. One lap remaining for the New South Welshman. The Commonwealth Games representative by two. A World Championship representative in 2009 over 1,500 metres. Roth in the Adidas kit in the lead from Jason Woolhouse from Deakin. Now Victorian leading athlete on the track. Rayner is the second Victorian third overall. Desai Chin fourth on the track. Fifth place as it stands. Andrew White will collect the bell now. But down the back straight it's Roth that's accelerating away. He was rolling turns with Jason Woolhouse through the mid stage of the race. Two laps remaining is where he started to surge and look what he's done to the field now. Roth inside of 200 metres remaining. This is his first attempt at the 5,000 metres. It could be signs of great things to come for the New South Welshman. Hummel beginnings here at the Victorian 5,000 metre championship. The last time this event will be contested at Olympic Park. Jeremy Roth from New South Wales. He's going to take the win. He's come down all the way for his first attempt at this championship distance. And will he get inside the 14 minutes on his first crack? Ticking down 13.55 now. He's gone across the line inside of that. 
He's going to take it 13.56. Woolhouse will cross just inside the 14 minute mark. First Victorian across the line, second overall. Toby Rayner will come down and take third across the line. The silver medalist in the Victorian title hunt, he will be 14-12 as he crosses through. Desai Chin will hang on to fourth place in 14-16. Quirk has a lap remaining, and Andrew White will round out the top five with the third place Victorian at the line from the Box Hill Club, 14-24. Hardigan. Amps, uh, how do you feel? A bit longer than the normal race for you? Yeah, um, it was a bit of a challenge for me um, running 12 and a half laps I mean furthest I've gone is probably 3k I mean I've done a road race or cross countries but it's completely different uh, when you've got to count the laps so um, it was a big test for me. And you were doing some good work there swapping laps off with uh, Jason was that a plan beforehand or just that happened naturally? Uh, it kind of happened naturally like the, uh, the aim was for the pacer to go to about five laps and unfortunately he was um, feeling a bit tired so um, Russell Deze Chin took the pace and then Jason took it up and we kind of somehow agreed just to go lap for lap and that worked well and we're a bit off what pace we kind of wanted but um, it was just a good hit out. And you're happy with the time for the first big race at this distance? Yeah, yeah, I mean I, obviously I'd love to have gone quicker but I think um, considering yeah, circumstances um, it, was, it wasn't too bad the weather in the end, you know, it was a bit wet track but um, yeah, sub 14, can't really complain. I've just got to build upon this and, and see how it goes. It was all right. Um, first couple of laps were a bit of a shock, but um, just that pace. But uh, middle stage, it's felt really good. And, um, you know, Rofi put a little gap in there with two laps to go and kind of kept it. And I was kind of thinking in the back of my head, well, what am I going to do against this guy in the home straight? He might find some of that 331 pace. So uh, it was a good blowout before, um, before Zatapik, so. And uh, Zadipek, as you mentioned, Zadipek coming up soon. How are you feeling for the uh, doubling the distance, doing an extra 12 and a half around the track? Yeah, no, it's, it's not sounding that great right now, but uh trick is just not to look at the lap counter. But, um, you know, today was easier than last year. Um, so I think, you know, there's no reason why I can't go and look through in low 14s and just run better than I did last year. I don't know what happened last year. And, um, you know, if you go through and just off 14 minutes and you have a good one, you're running 28 flat. Um, if you drift, you might still come home in 28.30, which is, which is the plan, I guess.